as dangerous as it is rare. It requires skill. It requires balance. It requires pain tolerance. And right now, it does not look like much but this simple construction of a wood is about to transform with the help of my four 18 inch machete blades. Right now, they have a protective covering along the edge of the blade so that I can hold it in my hand to do this, making sure that they are securely in place. Each sword fits within its own set of slots. And when they are all in place, we call this the ladder of swords. Now I will make sure that they are stable because in a moment I will be risking my life's blood by climbing up the sharp exposed edges of these blades for your amusement. Is this something you'd like to see? take my fire-eating rod. I will show you that these are not made of rubber. There are no springs that press in. I have this apple. Give me a number between one and four. All right, group mind mouth. One, two, three. Just a thin slice. I'm also attacking Rowan. <laughs> it's not feeding time yet, Rowan. <laughs> but it's that one again. Oh my gosh, it just wants to come to you. <laughs> you need that. All right, you can see the thin slices removed from the apple. Once more for good measure. Let's see if we can get a nice chunk. There we go. Snack time with the double ignis. <laughs> Next, I will remove my boots. I will remove my socks. <laughs> and in a moment, I will show you the bottoms of my feet. I will show you that I'm not wearing any secret protective coverings. No hidden pads, no armor, no prosthetic hobbit feet. Just my bare skin at risk. Hey, no pictures, that costs extra. <laughs> See me after the show. <laughs> and now, lords and ladies, the Ladder of Swords. Today. I was about to say I'm not sure it's dangerous enough, but uh, the props are rebelling, the apples are flying, the machetes are in the air, I don't even know what's happening anymore. We are going to make this more dangerous though, and in order to make this more dangerous, I'm going to need the help of an audience volunteer. I need a grown-up volunteer for this one. I need someone big, someone strong, someone who's actually over six feet tall, like their dating bio says. Let's see, all right, the war paint, yes. Give her up a round as he comes up. What is your name? Danny, hello Danny, welcome to the stage. If you could stand right there for me. 
beautiful, face the audience. Put your hand right here. Take a small half step back. He can follow directions! We love to see it, Danny. Now, about that extra danger that I promised, I have one more giant blade. But as you can see, all the slots of my ladder are filled up. So this one is just going to have to go up here. Now as I balance this final blade atop my head, as I risk my life's blood for your amusement, as I question if therapy is really working, <laughs> A kid in vain yelled, it's not. <laughs> I would like to thank all of you for coming to my show, Adamo Ignis. At the end of the show, I'll be up here at the front ready to say hello, take a photo, answer your questions. I'll also be standing up here with my merch basket. If you want to take home a memory of the show, you can bring home a sticker or my forbidden marshmallow pin, or take me home with you for your Dungeons and Dragons game. I turn myself into a challenge rating 15 fire elemental. <laughs> yeah, I know what you want, nerds. <laughs> so you can TPK your party. So come see me at the end of the show for that. Your job is just to keep that stable. I might also use your shoulder, all right? All right, audience, here we go. With no further ado, I present to you the Ladder of Swords. Thank you. 